Are you a pesticide registrar? Then this video is for you. In this video we will explain the structure of the FAO Pesticide Registration Toolkit, which is a decision support system for pesticide registration staff in developing countries. This toolkit was developed by FAO to assist in the evaluation and registration of pesticides. But first a little background. In most developing countries the Pesticide Registration Authority consists of only one or two staff. But as a registrar, you are still expected to manage all applications for registration, evaluate the pesticides and take decisions that ensure that the pesticide is efficacious and does not pose an unacceptable risk to human health and the environment. A pretty daunting task in itself. Let's put it in perspective. The UK Chemicals Regulatory Division has about 250 staff working on pesticides and other chemicals regulation. The US EPA Office of Pesticide Programs employs about 700 staff. At ICAMA, the Chinese Institute for the Control of Agrochemicals, about 80 persons work on pesticide registration. And even in a small country like the Netherlands, its board for the registration of pesticides has a secretariat of about 140 staff. In many countries with fewer resources, pesticide registrars tend to be strapped for staff finances and specific expertise. Full evaluations of a pesticide are simply not feasible. It is therefore very important to make optimal use of work that has been done by other institutions and not to waste limited resources or to reinvent the wheel. The Pesticide Registration Toolkit was developed to support pesticide registration staff with their work. It makes relevant and existing information available to pesticide registrars at your fingertips. The toolkit provides guidance about key registration procedures and methods in an interactive manner and so assists registrars in informed decision making. So what is the toolkit and what is it not? The toolkit is a decision support system for pesticide registrars in countries with limited resources. One can best see it as a web-based registration handbook intended for day-to-day -day use by those involved in the registration of pesticides. It is important to realize that the toolkit is not an automated system for the evaluation of pesticides. One cannot enter some pesticide properties in the toolkit and then push a button to get a registration advice. Instead, the toolkit supports and facilitates informed decision making by registrars. So let's have a look at the FAO Pesticide Registration Toolkit and find out how it is structured and what it contains. The homepage of the toolkit can be found on the FAO website. On the home page, you can find background information on the toolkit, for instance, who has been involved in its development. You can also find information on recent and future training activities on the use of the toolkit. FAO conducts both regional and national workshops to familiarize pesticide registration staff with the toolkit. The latest news on the toolkit can be found in this section. For instance, we inform you here whenever new modules or other contents have been added to the toolkit. The complete toolkit is available in English. Many pages have also been translated in French, Russian, Spanish and some in Arabic and Chinese. FAO tries to translate as much as possible in other UN languages, but some more detailed technical pages are, so far, only accessible in English. At the bottom of the home page, under Highlights from Toolkit, we present specific topics that we think may interest you. In the right-hand menus you find some selected links to FAO and external websites of importance for pesticide registration. However, note that in the toolkit itself many more links to relevant websites and databases are available on specific technical topics. The main technical information in the toolkit is accessed from the menu entries Registration Tools, Information Sources, and special topics. These sections can also be accessed through the large icons at the center of the home page. The Quick Start Guide provides a short introduction to all the modules in the toolkit, explaining what they contain and a direct link to these modules. When selecting any of the three technical sections of the toolkit, you'll see a detailed menu on the left, listing the different modules in that section. For instance, Clicking on Registration Process 
takes you to the module providing guidance on the various steps in the process of registering a pesticide. Every page in the toolkit has a print button, available at the top right of the page. The print button allows you to print the page either on a printer or, depending on the settings of your computer, as a PDF document. At the top of the left hand menu, you find the Home button. From anywhere in the toolkit, it returns you to the toolkit homepage. So now we are back on the homepage of the toolkit. Note that there is a search box at the top end. It allows you to search for words or phrases all through the toolkit. Note that by default it will search not only the toolkit, but the entire FAO.org website. Therefore, to restrict your search to the toolkit only, you need to select Search this site only first. The search box is a handy tool if you quickly want to find very specific information. Let's type Honeybee Acute Toxicity in the search box and click Search this site only to restrict the search to the toolkit. All pages in the toolkit where Honeybee Acute Toxicity is mentioned are now listed. Let's go back to the toolkit main technical sections. The registration tools provide technical advice on processes and methods in pesticide registration. These are general procedures applicable to all pesticides and are thus not pesticide specific. The registration tools are Registration strategies, which provide guidance on different registration systems that can be applied by a country to evaluate and authorize a pesticide, such as registration by analogy, registration based on local evaluations, or registration by equivalence. Registration process, the next tool, describes best practices for various steps in the pesticide registration process, from the submission of the application to the final registration decision. Data Requirements and Testing Guidelines is a tool which helps you find the data that are recommended to be required in the registration dossier. Data requirements are recommended for a specific pesticide in use pattern. International guidelines for studies to generate such data are also provided. Assessment Methods here provides you with procedures, methods and models that are available to evaluate specific parts of the pesticide registration dossier such as efficacy, or occupational risk, or risk to bees, among many others. The risk mitigation tool allows you to check options for risk mitigation measures to reduce the risks of a pesticide to be registered. Decision making provides guidance on the aspects that a registrar may need to consider when taking a decision to register a pesticide or refuse its registration. Much of the contents under registration tools is based on international guidelines published by FAO, WHO, the OECD, and others. The second main technical section, the information sources, helps you to find many types of information on individual pesticides. Much of this information is not maintained by FAO, but the toolkit provides links to and short explanations of the relevant websites. The address books allows you to find contact details of other pesticide registration authorities or of focal points for international conventions. On the Registrations Elsewhere pages, you can verify whether a pesticide has been registered in other countries, while the page on Restrictions and Bans allows you to verify whether the use of a pesticide has been severely restricted or banned by an international convention or by other countries. By checking scientific reviews, you can access review reports of a pesticide that are available from reputable international and national bodies. You can check the hazard classifications of individual pesticides by going to this page. If a registration authority publishes pesticide labels, we have listed such databases on the approved labels page. Maximum residue limits, set either by international or national bodies, can be found by going to this page in the toolkit. If you need to check a chemical or toxicological property of a pesticide, such as an LD50 or a half-life or a no-observed effect concentration, the pesticide properties pages of the toolkit will link you to reputable databases containing such information. The pesticide specifications page provide access to international pesticide quality specifications. 
So the information sources menu allows you to find a lot of pesticide specific information relevant for pesticide registration in a rapid way. Terms and definitions that are often used in the toolkit are also explained in this section. And finally, a library is provided where you can find guidance documents and video clips that are used in the toolkit, as well as links to webinars about the toolkit. The third main technical section, the special topics, is dedicated to topics related to pesticide registration that are of special interest to registrars and do not directly fit in either registration tools or information sources. The topic on highly hazardous pesticides, or HHPs, deals with the identification, assessment and mitigation of pesticides that present particularly high levels of acute or chronic hazards to human health or the environment. The Public Health Pesticides module is jointly developed with the World Health Organization. It focuses on those pesticides that are used in the control of pests of public health significance. Such pesticides include vector control pesticides, household pesticides and professional pest control products. Other special topics will be added as needed. This was a quick tour of the Pesticide Registration Toolkit. We hope that it has given you an overview of the many powerful tools that can be found here to assist you in evaluating and registering pesticides. If you need further information on how to use these tools, you can find more instruction videos on the start page of many of the tools and in the Quick Start Guide. The FAO Pesticide Registration Toolkit was developed to assist you as pesticide registration staff in doing your work more effectively. We hope that the toolkit will become the start page on your computer whenever you evaluate applications for registration of a pesticide in your country. Do not hesitate to contact us if you need further information, have questions about the toolkit and its use, or would like to suggest new contents.